The brand new Pokemon card set, Pokemon Card 151, looks to be a really fun and really nostalgic set. But before you go out and pre-order it for $150 for a booster box, there's a few things you need to know. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. As we ramp up to another very anticipated Pokemon card release coming out in June called Pokemon 151, we are kind of left wondering, golly, is this set going to follow the Clayburst model and the Scarlet and Violet model, where booster boxes are just going to be insanely ridiculously priced? There's a lot of people like me that are just wishing for the days when I could get Japanese booster boxes for $60 to $65 again and I see a lot of people out there paying $150 for pre-orders of Pokemon card 151 and there's some very very interesting and exciting news that we need to look at in order to understand what we should expect from the Pokemon card 151 set release now if you're excited about this set drop me a comment down below and let me know and to fully understand what's going to happen with Pokemon card 151 we need to look at Clayburst you guys probably know Clayburst and Snowhazard was the most recently released set in Japan and it will join with the cards from Triplet Beat to make up Paldea Evolved that's releasing here in English pretty soon. Now, Clayburst was over $200 per booster box at its peak because of the Iono Secret Rare Full Art Trainer card. Iono was being sold for around $2,000 at its release, sometimes around $2,500 when the set first came out. Well, something very interesting that's happened with Clayburst that is going to help us to understand what to expect when Pokemon Card 151 comes out is that we had some announcements from Pokemon in Japan just a few weeks ago talking about how they were planning on doing a for demand release of Clayburst and they essentially were making an apology saying we didn't print enough Clayburst, Clayburst got bought out too easily and people can't go out and buy this set the way that they want. Basically what's going on here is Pokemon realized that they were leaving money on the table and they could make a lot more of this specific set and other sets that are in demand and make more money and they made that announcement. Well it's now been officially announced by Pokemon that they will have Clayburst booster boxes up available for pre-order from May 11th to May 16th on the Japanese Pokemon Center. They will make a virtual waiting room if the website gets overloaded. Now, what does this mean? And how does this apply to Pokemon card 151 when it releases? Because it's really hyped. A lot of people are already out there selling pre-orders for $150 a box when it we're, we're still a month away from the actual set release. How does this pertain to this specific set? Well, what's gonna happen with Clayburst is it's essentially going to be released on what's known as a time release in other other collectible verticals. If you look at prints, if you look at designer toys and things like that, they'll have limited editions or maybe they only make an edition of 100 or an edition of 500 for a specific run, but then every once in a while they'll do an edition where it's called a time released edition and that means that product will be available to order from an start time to an end time and however many units are pre-ordered in that time is how many they will produce. That is exactly what Pokemon Center Japan is going to be doing with Clayburst. We're going to have from May 11th to May 16th pre-orders available for Clayburst booster boxes and if a thousand sell then they're going to make a thousand. If a hundred thousand sell then they're going to produce a hundred thousand and what we will see when these start shipping out in August is a massive plummet in prices on Clayburst, even that may happen beforehand. And this is very, very interesting and very relevant. And this is where, this is the point that we need, you need to listen to. And we're gonna tie this all in to the hype and the fun and the excitement around Pokemon card 151. Pokemon has announced that they will do this for Clayburst and potentially for future sets where it's deemed necessary. Pokemon card 151 is gonna be very popular and very exciting. So we have a couple situations that I see happening. One, Pokemon card 151 sells out on day one one like Clayburst, Pokemon looks at this and says, all right, we're going to do what we did with Clayburst with Pokemon 151. Then you will essentially be able to go and place an order during the designated time period. Get yourself a booster box of it. Now, obviously you and I can't do that if we live here in America. If we're going to order from Pokemon Center Japan, you've got to use a proxy shipper and a reshipper and things like that and use Google Chrome to translate the Pokemon, you know, to Pokemon Center Japan's website for you and everything. Uh, I believe Twice Big Jake made a very, Twice Big Jake and OK J Love and uh, PTCG Radio 
all made really good videos on how to set up a proxy reshipper account. Go look their videos up. They've explained it better than I could explain it. But if you did that, you can essentially go and pre-order Clayburst when this, this time frame opens up and get yourself a box at MSRP plus shipping here to America. I think Pokemon is going to see if Pokemon card 151 sells out on day one, they will be following this exact same method for Pokemon card 151. They will set a time frame after the initial release that you can go in and however many are pre-ordered is however many they will produce. Now, if Pokemon card 151 does not sell out on day one, well then all of this is moot because then the set will just be easy to obtain and the prices won't be anywhere near what they were for Clayburst or Triplet Beat. This is very, very, very good news for the Japanese Pokemon card market and collectors of Japanese Pokemon cards. This allows Pokemon Japan to gauge a release and say, okay, it didn't sell out. There's plenty on the market. We don't need to make a ton more or say it did sell out. There's not enough on the market. Let's open up a time frame where people can order and we will just, anybody can order and we will just create the amount that is ordered to satisfy the demand. This is huge, huge moves on Pokemon. And this is a huge reason why I'm seeing people out there doing pre-orders for $150 on a booster box of Pokemon card room 51. And I'm saying, wait, you should wait. First of all, I think we'll probably be able to pre-order it for around $100 when the set comes out. But Pokemon is making making moves to satisfy the demand of their customers themselves, like we're seeing with Clayburst. This won't be a one-time thing. They will continue to do this if they see an opportunity to, to make money. So what am I saying here? I'm, I'm not telling you, if you wanna get Pokemon card 151 booster boxes when they come out and you can order them for $100 or $115 and you can afford that, do it. By all means, do it. If I can get them for about 100 bucks, I'll probably buy a couple because I want to open them. But if you can't afford that or you don't mind waiting it out and playing the waiting game, let's look at what Pokemon has already acknowledged that has happened with Clayburst and the steps that they're implementing to make sure that their customers are able to get boxes that they want and so they can make the money that they want to make. Let's look at that example and understand that if Pokemon card 151 sells out on day one, then Pokemon will very, very, very likely follow this same path that they're doing with Clayburst right now with Pokemon card 151. So don't spend $150 on booster box pre-orders if you don't want to, or if you feel like that is too much and you don't mind playing the waiting game. Again, I'll say by all means, if you got the money and you want the boxes and you want to buy yourself a box for a hundred bucks, like Pokey Any will probably have them around whatever the fair market value is around a hundred bucks. And like, I'll buy some, right? I'll buy some at that, at that price point. Don't feel bad. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying that if you want to wait, you can wait. And if you want to buy it up front, you can buy it up front, but Pokemon is setting things in place to show us that they're acknowledging when there's not enough product on the market for their Japanese product, and they're gonna set a process in motion to satisfy that demand. So this is really, really good news. I'm really excited about this, guys. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this whole process. Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? I think it's gonna be a very good thing, especially since Pokemon card 151 Looks like it's going to have some pretty fun and pretty playable cards in the actual set. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Throw me a thumbs up. Throw me a like on the video. It's free for you to do, and it really helps me out and helps the video so, so much. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.